questions, uh, one of the things you'll find is that the U.S. Supreme Court has said, and it said for hundreds of years, and most recently just a few years ago, that uh, towns, villages, uh, counties, and other municipalities are just subdivisions of the state government. We have a sovereign federal government, a sovereign state government, and all the local governments derive their powers from the state of New York in the state. Uh, the state can abolish them, the state can modify them, the state can do pretty much what it wants to do. Uh, the state can pass a general statute, and if the state passes a general law, and we're going to talk about the environmental conservation law in a minute, which is a state law like that, uh, once they pass a law like that, normally state law predominates over anything the locality will do. Localities do have home rule in terms of things like their own internal affairs, where the state can't intervene. And under the state statute, New York State government can't go out and pass a law that applies only to Newfield. That would be a violation of home rule. But they can pass a statute that applies to all towns of more than 5,000 people, uh, and that would be okay, it would be binding. So what's going on here with, uh, uh, with moratoriums and bans? Well, when you have a town that's doing a ban now, it's basically usually doing it because of zoning. And to do zoning, you have to have a comprehensive plan in place, and you have to follow the rules about zoning law. And as I understand, Newfield does not have a zoning law. So the other alternative for a town is to do what's known as a moratorium. A moratorium means stop. Don't do any more. We need some time to think about this. And New York State law gives under its police powers, gives localities a fairly uh, uh, powerful role in being able to do moratoriums. Moratoriums need to be brief. Normally they're about six months. The state will tolerate them for a year or two. They keep extending them in some instances, but the practical limit for most moratoriums is about two years. After that, localities are looked on a little askance when they do a moratorium. But it's very powerful uh, uh, power that's vested in, in town boards to do moratoriums. And that's the power under which the Newfield Town Board would try to enact the uh, You own all the land underneath, and you own the land going up into the sky, uh, right up to where we have space now. Okay? And that's your land, and it raises three kinds of rights. You have a right as a landowner to the surface of your land, and that's what people uh, are, you often ask to lease so that an injury company can come in and work on the surface of your property. Then there's land underneath your land, mineral rights, and those can be leased separately from the surface. You don't have to give up, give up your surface rights in order to lease your mineral rights. Because all this drilling is going on, and what's going on with horizontal drilling, fracking, uh, goes on thousands of feet down. So it doesn't involve upsetting your, your actual property at the surface. Okay, um, and you can sell your mineral rights separately, by the way, from your land. But with a decades ago, several decades ago, uh, drilling's been going on in New York for a long time. And it was vertical drilling. Uh, it went down with a straight shaft. They didn't go out horizontally like they do now. By the way, they fracked sometimes when they did the vertical wells. But vertical wells have been around for a while. And when vertical wells began to go in, what happened was the people, uh, towns, did exactly what the towns are doing now. They tried to get involved in controlling what would happen to the well. And it got out of hand. The state had a real problem. Because different towns would have different rules. Every 10 miles you went down the road, you'd have a different town with a different code. And the reality is that it's part of environmental conservation where we have our people that are experts on the subject. They're at state level. Most town boards don't have the knowledge to be able to deal with complex issues uh, involving uh, energy development. They do it anyway. And they did in the past. And it became so much of a problem in New York State that our legislature passed the current environmental conservation law, the oil and gas law, which preempted towns from regulating, towns, villages, counties, from regulating anything except roads in conjunction with energy development. 